I know that I did annoy another gentleman. <laughs> so I'll tell you that story. But then, this is my wife. And he said, no, I don't care who she is. Back off. Am I going to keep this? This is really nice. This would be lovely to have juice in or water in on a, on a dinner table if we have guests. Or even to decant the wine. Do I need it? I do not. Hello everyone, how are you? So I have a jumble sale haul for you today. We went to a jumble sale a couple of weeks ago and bought a few things, not masses. It wasn't as good as the last jumble sale that we went to, but then we were always going to be hard pushed to beat that because that was amazing. Um, if you haven't seen that haul, I'll link it at the end for you. But um, we did find a few interesting bits, so I thought I would share those with you today. So if you're new here, my name is Andrea and we have a main channel. I have a main channel with my husband, Nick and Andrea Hills, and this is the spin-off from it. So I do quite a lot of thrift hauls, do some vlogs, etc, etc. So um, welcome. But if you've been around here for a while, then hello, welcome back, and I hope you enjoy the haul. Okay, where shall I start? Um, hmm, looking at the things in front of me, what shall I start with? Start with the nearest thing. So, I found a Luminarch divided, like, serving dish, like a nibbles dish. It came in its original box, but as you can see, it's had some, some use and some wear over the years. It's got some grease stains, a little bit of damage, um, but the item inside is still in beautiful condition. So this is the dish and it's got like embossed, I think they're like maybe nuts. So maybe it was me meant to be like a nut dish or something. But yeah, it's absolutely stunning. Frosted glass, really beautiful. And I think I paid like a pound on that. Looking at um, completed listings on eBay, um, it's kind of all over the place. There was one that was listed for 22 pounds. Um, and then there was a different design completely that was listed for nine pound 40. Um, and I didn't see any that had sold so I'm thinking I'm going to try around the 20 with offers and then we'll just see what happens because as I say the an identical one to this with the box is listed for 22 so if I try around 20 with offers then hopefully it will find its price but at a pound can't go wrong it's going to find its buyer somewhere this is really sweet I picked it up and thought that it was probably a bud vase but actually now, now that I've researched it and looked at it a bit more, I think it's just a small goblet. Um, probably would have been used for liqueurs or sherry or that kind of thing. Um, it is Orkney pottery. Now I can show you the base, but I, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it. It's so fine and tiny. But yeah, that's what the base looks like. The design on this is absolutely beautiful. I really love it so so stunning um, it's not glazed on the outside but it is glazed on the inside so it could be used for beverages or for a bud vase I'm thinking so I saw that one of these had sold for 15 previously and one a similar one had sold at 10 pounds so I'm going to list it for £15 with offers, I think. Okay, the next thing I picked up, it was only 20p. Um, towards the end, it was like everything was 20p, so we got some real bargains. Um, but it's not really worth very much in terms of reselling on its own. And it is this Hornsey Fleur Design um, jug. You know I love a jug, so I was drawn to it. It was sitting amongst the mugs, etc. And I'd missed it the first time around. It may not have been put out at that point, I don't know. Um, but I love the design. 
it really goes with this kitchen. <laughs> um, so I knew that, you know, if I wasn't going to sell it on, I would probably keep it. And that's kind of what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm going to keep it for a little while. And if I find any more Hornsey flair items, then I'll start making up a bundle and eventually sell it on. Although I do think you can probably never have too many jugs. Other people would disagree, such as Nick. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm thinking, hold on to it, enjoy it for a while, pass it on to someone else eventually. Um, so, yes, that's not going to be resold right now, and it's found a place on the shelf in the kitchen. And then another item I picked up for 20p, and it was right at the end. I'd seen it on the table before, and I just dismissed it. But then I thought, 20p, I'm going to pick it up. Um, and it is this wine carafe. It's stamped on the bottom as JFJ Winery. Um, and it's a winery from California. The only solds and listed carafes like this that I've seen are from America. I've not seen one in the UK um, and again they seem to be quite common so not huge amounts of value in it. Um, the other thing that I found out about this when doing a little bit of research is it's, it's vintage, it's from 1990 and you know it's not going to set the world alight, but it'll be about 10 to 12 pounds, I think, once I list it. Um, so that's not too bad, is it, for 20p? I do kind of like it as well. I mean, it would be... <laughs> <I've>, <laughs> I battle with myself all the time. Am I going to keep this? This is really nice. This would be lovely to have juice in or water in on a, on a dinner table if we have guests. Or even to decant the wine. Do I need it? I do not. So <laughs> I'm probably going to pass it on and sell it. This is the most expensive thing that I found. And it's one of those sort of situations at a jumble sale where massive crowd of people finding it really difficult to get into the table. We'd got there quite early, so I'd got to the table, you know, fairly early and there wasn't very many people around but then you're just in one section so as soon as the rest of the queue come in it is busy and you can't you have trouble getting from one end of the table to the next and I could see a few things at the other end of the table that I really wanted to go and have a look at and as per usual by the time you get in there somebody else is, is grabbing the stuff that you're looking at um, and I'm sure it's the other way around because I know that I did annoy another gentleman. <laughs> so I'll tell you that story. Um, he had picked this up and it is an Edinburgh crystal decanter. You can see the sticker on there. Now, I don't know if anybody can help me with the design in this. Is this the embassy? design because I've done quite a lot of research and I found a few that were the em embassy design but they looked slightly different to this. It didn't look as high up in the pattern, it looked a lot lower down here and these sort of, I don't know, it looks like a pineapple to me <laughs> but the, the sort of leaves that stick out the top, um, they were a lot lower and a lot wider so I'm not sure if this is just a version of the embassy design or if it's got another name, but I couldn't find the exact pattern that I've got here. So I'm not sure, but I digress. I will go back to the story. So he had it and I was on my way, you know, trying to wiggle my way down, <laughs> down the table. And um, I could see he had it and I thought, Look at that, that looks lovely. And I heard the lady say it's five pounds and he put it back because I assume he thought five pounds was far too much at a jumble sale. And I thought, no, it's not, not for Edinburgh Crystal. You know, even if I sell it for 15, it's 
five pounds is still a good price. So he put it down. I wiggled my way in and I picked it up. And she said, that's five pounds, you know, as if she was almost apologetic about it. And I said, yeah, that's okay, that's fine. So now I was at the, this point of the table where, you know, I was able to sort of reach through. I still couldn't get quite to the table and this man was in, in front of me. Um, but I saw a few other things that I had my eye on. So I kind of, the only thing you can do is I <laughs> reached my hand through and past him and just grabbed the things that I was interested in. Um, and he, you could tell he was a little bit annoyed. <laughs> um, and then at, at that almost exact point, Nick, he was, had been looking at toys. He came up behind me and he said, how are you getting on? Do you want some help? And the man turned around and he said, no, go away. <laughs> no, actually he said, back off. No, back off, he said. And <laughs> Nick was a bit like, no, no, this is my wife. And he said, no, I don't care who she is. Back off. <laughs> and Nick went, no, 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 this is my wife. <laughs> he was so confused. And then he said, yes, I, as I said, I don't care who she is, but she's doing very well, so back off. And he was like really aggressive. And we looked at each other like, okay. <laughs> And I thought, yeah, I've really annoyed him. I, <laughs> I feel like I was picking up the things that he really wanted. And then later on, he'd obviously felt a little bit of remorse for his aggression because he came up to me and he put his arm around me, which was a bit weird. Um, and he said, oh, earlier on, I was just, I did, you know, I was just saying that, you know, as a woman, you were doing really well on your own and... Um, and you didn't need your husband, did you? And I thought, well, if you're trying to make things better right now, <laughs> you're not doing a very good job because <laughs> actually you're now just being really misogynistic and condescending. So, <laughs> so um, I just laughed and said, yeah, well, I think he was just trying to help me anyway. So never mind, <laughs> just kind of moved on. But that was a, that was a bit weird, but yeah. Anyway, I did buy the crystal <laughs> decanter. So now I've um, waffled enough. You actually want to know how much I might resell this for. I spent quite a long time trying to research the pattern and not getting very far, to be honest with you. And I did notice, because I Googled it as well, I always look on eBay, Etsy, other websites. I did Google it and it, an embassy design came up on Antiques Arena's website. And I noticed that he was selling one boxed, slightly different design for, I think it was 65 maybe? Um, so I was thinking, okay, I, mine isn't boxed. And there does seem to be a lot of these decanters on eBay in different designs. And I'm not sure if a particular design is more desirable and therefore worth more. And because I can't find an identical one to mine, I'm not sure whether mine is a common one or if it's, you know, something that's more desirable. So that makes it more difficult to price. Um, so the conclusion that I came to on this is it was probably worth in the region of maybe 30 to 50 in its condition without the box. If you think I'm wrong, then I'm very open to your help and advice on this because I've not sold an Edinburgh crystal to Canter before. So um, I'm thinking of pitching it around 50, again with offers to try and find its price. Um, but yeah. If you have any ideas or you've sold one of these before, then yes, please let me know in the comments. Um, but that's what I'm thinking, that's kind of what I've settled on, that in that condition, without a box, I'm thinking 30 to 50. So aim high, see what happens. 
So the thing that I was heading for, that I had spied before the crystal decanter were these. And they are Kakeshi dolls, they're vintage Kakeshi dolls. That's the base of them. And I love Kakeshi dolls, I really do. Um, yeah, again, something that I'd quite happily collect, but I battle with the minimalist in me all the time. Like, I already have so much stuff, so I'm happy to buy them, handle them, and find new homes for them. But I do love finding them because they're so gorgeous. So gorgeous. And I've never found a little boy before. Next to it, next to these two, was um, a Japanese carved, I think it might have been a cat. Um, and it looked like they were all together or they'd come from the same person who donated them. Um, but I didn't get to that quick enough because <laughs> I snuck my arm in and I grabbed these two and said gentleman that I was talking about before saw me doing this and immediately grabbed the cat. So I think these are probably <laughs> one of the reasons why he was annoyed with me because he wanted these. But you know, you snooze, you lose. And they had been sat there for a while. It had taken me quite some time to work my way down the table and, and get to them. Um, but anyway, I, I managed to get them and I think they were 50p each, which is an absolute bargain. Um, and having researched, there are lots of different Kakeshi dolls and, you know, some much older than others. These are fairly modern, really, in the scheme of things. But I did see one that was in a different design, but almost the exact same doll. So I think it was made by the same people, the same company. Um, and that had sold for 50 that had sold for £15. Um, so, based on that, I'm going to list the pair for £30. Um, yeah, I think that the boy Kakeshi dolls potentially going to be a little bit more rare. So, yeah, I mean, I might even aim a bit higher because of the boy Kakeshi doll, but we'll see. I always put offers on anyway, as you know. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've thought 30, that's what I've written down. And we'll see. I'm not in a hurry to get rid of them. <laughs> they might even sit on a shelf for a little while just so I can enjoy them before they sell. They're very sweet. Um, and then also, another thing that was next to them that I, I grabbed that <laughs> I think I annoyed him about. Um, he was obviously looking for exactly the same things that I was. He, you know, I'm not sure if he was a reseller, he may well have been. Um, but I found these salad servers. They are hand carved, as you can see, they're very rustic and rudimentary. And they are kind of African tribal design. Now, there are a few others that have sold or have been listed that are very similar, but I've not found anything exactly like this. But just based on that, um, I'm thinking 10 to 15 probably on those. So from my first sort of sweep of the table, my initial sweep of the table, those are the bits that I found. Um, and then I decided to, you know, things were starting to calm down a little bit. Um, decided to go back and have a look to another sort of length of the table and there were a load of mugs that I hadn't actually looked at previously so I went to go and have a little rummage and see what they had they were all 20p each and the first one I picked up was this one it's just really sweet hand painted and on the bottom it says EPC design Caroline Zoob and I thought, well, 20p is worth taking a chance on just to see if it is anything, because sometimes 
you know, if you've got a name on something, somebody is collectible or um, they're very popular. So I thought I would have a look and yeah, it turns out that she is fairly collectible. Um, she's an artist that's done work in various different mediums, um, but she has done ceramics as well. And this is one of them. So not masses of money back on it, but I think it's probably worth about seven to 10 pounds. And I think sometimes it's just worth taking a chance on things just so that you can learn about them or learn about a particular artist. So yeah, I'll be on the lookout for more of her ceramics now. And then I found the good old Hello Kitty mug. It's a very pretty sort of spring Eastery type design. And yeah, I just really liked that, very pretty. It's made by Kinnerton, but it's quite common, as you probably would expect. Um, so yeah, I mean, five, five to eight on that maybe, because it's quite common. Um, but this one is really good. This one was a nice find. It is a bang on the door penguin mug. So you've got bang on the door on the handle there, penguin, and inside it says, <laughs> I had to double check, I was going, <laughs> and inside it says waddles, <laughs> it's back to front on my screen, so I had to double check that, um, yeah, so bang on the door is always a good find, it's very retro, very Y2K, and tends to sell very well. So out of the mugs, this is probably my best find. Um, yeah, and I should get about 10 to 15 pounds for it. So I'm, I'm glad that was still there at the end because, you know, I might have missed that. Somebody might have grabbed it, but you can't look at everything at once, can you? And then lastly, I found this Tupperware condiment caddy. I've had one of these and sold it in the past for $12.99, identical, in the same colour and everything. And it was still sat in my Etsy inactive listings um, because I sold it on eBay and then I ended it on Etsy. Um, so I just react reactivated the listing on Etsy. I haven't listed it again on eBay yet um, because I just need to copy all of that across. Um, and also I want to get some more some new photos, although it's identical in every way, there isn't any damage to it. Um, it's always good to get new photos. So I'm gonna refresh the photos on Etsy, but at the moment, it was just easier just to reactivate it and put it back on. So yeah, hopefully I should get 12 99 for it again. Seems to be about the going rate. So that's the end of the haul. That's all the bits that I got. Definitely my favorites were the Kakeshi dolls, just absolutely love them. Um, so happy to have found those. And yeah, I'm quite interested to see what happens with the crystal decanter. As I say, they seem to be quite common and prices are all over the place. Um, and I'm not sure if I've got anything special, I probably don't. Um, but I still think it was worth the five pounds because it's going to sell for more than five pounds all day long. So yeah, so let me know again, what was your favorite item? And is there anything that you would just wouldn't have bothered with? You just would have left it behind. Um, it's difficult, isn't it? When things are 20p and 50p, because even if they sell for a low value, it's still worth picking up. Um, but yeah, there might have been something that I've wasted my time with. I don't know. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again in another video very soon. Take care for now. Bye.